discover the world. Enjoy life. Yeah, no, I really want to, to get to know other cultures that I, that I discovered during the sim. Get rich without working afterwards. <laughs> but unfortunately, that doesn't work that way, so I think I'll work for an international company somewhere. I also have to find my niche in, in life. Um, we didn't want to announce it today, but we're going to get married. <laughs> <laughs> but after that, uh, we might uh, adopt some children. Yeah, well, it's, it's too early to speak about it, but uh, we love to. I guess for me it's probably time to start to work, finally. <laughs> uh, it's never time to work. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, he, he goes to London, I guess, and I will follow him because we are married. All of our goals are pretty much the same, which is get a high paying job where you don't have to work very much. is live at the New York Stock Exchange and she has what it means for all of us. Biana? Good morning, Diane. It's being called the mother of all write downs. As you mentioned, $18 billion lost, 40% of the stock value wiped out and thousands of jobs gone, all happening within the, just the last three months. Now this is what it looks like when the world's largest bank is hemorrhaging. The company has lost nearly 100 you in the past six months. That's more than the gross domestic product of the United Arab Emirates. The ICOS report says the Taliban is winning ground and even moving into the capital, Kabul, because it's doing everything better. The Taliban's political, military and economic strategies are now more successful than the West's, it says. I, Barack Hussein Obama, do solemnly swear. I want to get you back to what is happening between uh, Russia and Georgia and a segment of Georgia that is, has been in dispute for many years now. Well, now that conflict appears to have exploded. Today, I say to you that the challenges we face are real. They are serious and they are many. What do higher oil prices, drought, hurricanes and growing prosperity in China and India all have in common? The answer? They all help to dramatically increase the price of food. Yes, food, by as much as 50% across the board last year. It's the end of a super boom that has lasted since the end of the Second World War. The point of this campaign is to deliver the message to the public and to decision makers around the world that if we really want to save the climate, we need to quit coal. As we get out of this crisis, as we work towards getting ourselves out of recession, I hope that Wall Street and the marketplace don't think that we can return to business as usual. The business models that uh, created a lot of paper wealth but not real wealth in this country and have now resulted in crisis can't be the model for economic growth going forward. 